Hey friends, what's up? It is your buddy Keith, and I am here live again in the control room at the one and only world-famous Essex Recording Studios, just outside London in Southend-on-Sea, England. And today I've got the nicest Gibson Hummingbird guitar. It's a custom shop model. It's the very nicest one I've ever seen in my life. Better than any I've seen in pictures, better than I've seen in anything. I'm going to show it to you. It's got a very special Koa body that you can't see right now. So stick around. It's super flamed. Uh, it sounds incredible. This guitar is very, very special, very rare. You're going to love it. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to show you the coolest guitars that I find from all around the world. Man, look at that fretboard. Little hint of what's to come right there. Uh, yeah, guys. So that's why we do this. There's almost 10,000 of us here big family now on the channel and uh yeah we welcome you so also one more thing before i show you everything on this guitar if you want to buy it head on over to essexrecordingstudios.com you can buy it there we'll ship it out any country in the world no problem it's also going to go up on reverb and it will also go up on ebay so we're here to serve guys best place to buy is from our website and for american buyers you don't get hit with that online sales tax that half the states charge over there now back to the guitar this came to us from uh, a guy who plays up north and uh he has kept this thing immaculate he was the second owner the first owner was a luthier who just i mean he clearly loved this thing it's been babied the uh the sound's incredible on it You get a warmth with the, you get a clarity and warmth with Hawaiian koa that's very different from maple, very different from mahogany. Um, it's distinct, and to me, it's it's just my favorite. We love recording with koa body guitars. We get koa tailors when we can find koa custom shop Gibsons. We get them. We had an SJ two hundred. That thing sold instantly. I have a feeling this will sell instantly because you just can't find them. And, I mean, when I look for them, I look for the ones with the very, very best body. That just sings. Stunning rosewood fretboard with real mother-of-pearl inlays. None of this acrylic nonsense that you see. Um, you know, you pay a lot of money for a custom shop guitar pay a lot of money for Gibson in general. I wish they would use Mother of Pearl more often, but they don't. But the headstock logo, everything, the, the, the crown, it's all Mother of Pearl. Very nice Sitka spruce top, as you can see. Lots of uh, great detail in the grain. You know, only the best of the best for a 2013, almost nine years old, guys. Uh, hummingbird acoustic. Now the label in there, you can see, Hummingbird Koa Custom Shop. You can also see the uh, pickup control there. It's a little bit hard to see. But uh, yeah, guys, nice binding around the whole neck, the body. Now for the big reveal, we've got to see this flame back and sides. This thing's just so intense, so incredible. Wow, there's a little... Hint of it. Let's put it on its side so you can really see. This is crazy intense. Definitely the most intense Koa sides I have seen on any guitar ever. Look at that. Tell me that's not to die for. I want to hear your reaction in the comments when you see this. This thing is incredible. And look at that. Look at the book matching there. That is insane. Insane book matching. Then we come here. My God. If that ain't the best hummingbird you've ever seen, you better send me some pictures of what you have seen because this is just as good as it gets, folks. Mahogany neck. You come down. There's your custom shop logo there. Beautiful gold tuners. And your serial number. Let's take it all the way out. Just, I'll spin it around so you can see this side as well. I mean, it's all just very 
3D figured. If you're gonna have one hummingbird to rule them all, this is the one. My God, that is beautiful. I wanna, we wanna record with this tomorrow, but I don't think it's gonna last a day. I think this is gonna sell tonight when I list it. We'll see what happens. Yeah, that's, and again, just like a flame top, look at, take, pay attention to these lines and watch what happens when I change the angle. You'll see like, especially in here, see how it kind of like disappears and then it gets real fat. Yeah, I'll do it kind of fast. Look, look all in here. Disappears. There's a very 3D holographic effect that, um, in person, it's it's much more visible. You know, nothing has the resolution of a human eye on, on these cell phone videos that then get compressed for YouTube. But uh, let's go ahead and take it out of the case. Because I really want to show you these in-depth grain patterns on the back here. Yeah. Wow. That's just a work of art. It's a shame that they don't do these on the tops. Like, they ha all of the awesome figuring is hidden on the back of the guitar. Because this is really how it should be displayed. This is where all the magic is happening. See a little bit of the reflection of the Essex Recording Studios logo there. Wow. So, so intense. Just soak it all in, guys. So you can see, great book matching. And again, depending on how the light hits, it has a major effect on how the figuring looks or how much of the background grain comes through yeah wow gibson guys i'm uh, i'm at a loss for words here this is just so dang pretty i don't know what else to say it comes with its original paperwork, some case candy, like the, the wiping cloth. Um, looks like a Gibson Acoustic sticker. The case, very nice plush blue lined Gibson Acoustic. It's a, it's a Gibson Montana case, factory original. They don't put custom shop on the cases for these guitars, I noticed. It still says Gibson Acoustic. Let's, come on, there we go, get in focus. Um, but yeah, guys, this is... This is a very rare guitar. I've never seen, I look for Koa guitars specifically because we just love recording with them. They're our absolute favorite. Um, and I've just never seen another one of these before. Nothing like this, that's for sure. I'll go up and down the fretboard again. Nice and slowly. The condition is outstanding i think this is about as close to mint as a uh played guitar gets the frets let's have a look oh <laughs> lost control of the string there didn't mean to startle you guys sorry if you're wearing headphones okay that's that side now let's move this one over There we go. Um, the only sort of indication that this thing's been played, I mean, there's no pick scratches or anything that I'm seeing here. I'm not seeing any buckle rash on the back. I don't see any of the, sometimes on guitars you'll see like wear marks here and here where they sit on a hanger. I'm not seeing any of that. 
the uh, some dust there. It's all looking very good. The only thing I saw was like, and you see this all the time. This is just from like changing strings. There's like a little like clear coat. If I get it right under the light, you can't really see it. You have to get it. That I got it directly under this spotlight here. There's like a little very minor lacquer scratch. And that's almost certainly from just changing the strings. But I, I'm classifying this as mint, guys. This is, this is, you know, it's nine, almost weeks away from being nine years old. Look at that. You can see all the figuring through the, uh, through the back there. By the way, guys, that's how you can tell if a guitar is laminate body or real wood body is the grain that you see on the inside like that needs to match the grain that you see back here. It's a little tip. I know a lot of you already know that, but there's probably plenty of you that don't. Cool. What a stunner. You got two little uh, mother of pearl little dot markers there on the Rosewood Bridge. And of course the beautiful hummingbird uh, artwork on the tortoiseshell pick guard. Very cool guys. I'm real proud of this one. I think this is a very cool guitar to have on the channel to share with you all. Hopefully you'll let me record it. You won't buy it too fast. But if you do want it, again, EssexRecordingStudios.com is the place to go. And uh, you can take it off our hands. All right. With that being said, I'm going to put it away and get on to the next video because we've got a lot of other cool stuff to share with you guys. Uh, a lot of artist stuff. We just did a demo today with Andy from Forged in Black. He was on a Mexican Charvel. Uh, he totally shredded on that. Can't wait to show you. We did, did that on a proper camera. I know a lot of you guys have been yelling at me forever to get these proper demos going. Well, it's happening and they're only going to get better. We've got lots of cool lights lenses cameras we're gonna be on twitch if you guys are twitch followers you can go to twitch.tv slash essex recording studios and see us there and then all the usual um social media places at essex recording studios on instagram facebook twitter all that stuff the uh card here it hasn't been filled out there we are very cool Thanks, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you soon with another ridiculously amazing guitar uh, like this one. See ya.